You're coming to the Madrid boss of it? Oh no, no, no way, no way. What is that even? I saw a, a post, but I never clicked on it. I'm probably gonna go to the one in southern Germany in, day, in October or something, whenever that is, but... But no, 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 not the Madrid one. What do you think about main gimmick with repair mod 1 in the first slot? The thing is... The module is like not making the ship stronger in like combat. What I mean with it in like the armament. But the thing, the thing is, if I remember correctly, it needs 13 main gun hits to trigger, if you wanna have it. The gun, the ship has 16 guns and apparently Montana accuracy-ish? Is Montana accuracy-ish? So... If you have one decent salvo, they don't need a pen or something, your shadows are enough. Yeah, you can charge it up in one salvo and that makes it, in my opinion, very strong. Plus it's 45 seconds long, which is very long. Like... Hello there. I do think... Since it's so easy to charge, most likely, it's gonna be pretty nice. It gives it so much more survivability in, like, against spamming things, like torps or or floodings and fires. And if it gets a Monty heal as well, like the improved one, since it's after Monty, it's gonna be a very, very nice ship, probably. But we'll see. Again, I don't know anything about the reload right now. I didn't see the death block. Look at the death block. Look how... Is the base reload 30 seconds? Please tell me it's not like 40 seconds or something. Exuberant, thank you for your follow. Nah, I go solo today, bro. 35 second reload. Oh. Yeah, you still want to go 11% dispersion mod because that's such an insane thing. But, uh, I don't know. I thought it would be 30. Shipmate underscore Peter just subscribed. Hip hip hurrah. 33 months. Let's go. Let's go, shipmate Peter. Thank you so much, my man. He's heading over here. Torpedoes of Buckboard. Torpedoes after us. We're gonna go we're gonna go into a kiting spot. We don't need to push them actively. We can farm them down and run away. Although a double juicy double kill on GK and IO would be kind of nice. Nah. I decided now if I turn now broadside I get a free shot on my broadside and I don't want that. I'm gonna go into a kiting spot for now. We don't need to char charge at them. Beautiful, there was a full submarine. That's not the oil leak of Fresher. That's not the oil leak of Fresher. Torpedoes of Steuerbord. Torpedoes after us. Torpedoes of Steuerbord. Broadside GK, best GK, yeah.
can run. Duncan is a bit annoying that he can push there for free. But these guys are very nice in showing their citadel now. I lost one torpedo tube, but on a not that much important side. So kind of fine with it. And we're just gonna turbo, turbo drive away now. I have a great day. Can we get this up? Oh, I was so sure he was there with the last spotted ribbon being actualized. What is the Iowa doing now? Did it slow down or not? Okay, we're spotted by the sub, man. Yeah, I was just accepting his fate, okay. We got a perfect hit on the submarine, that's good. I'm with you, the Duncan, so that's also good. many opponents for me. If it wouldn't be for the Duncan player being in my broadside now the whole time, we could probably have a better game here. But this guy is just allowed to go into the middle without any, somebody, nobody interfering with him. Which is very annoying, to, to be honest. Because it means no matter what I do, I will always take a ton of damage. Hey, Benzi. Beautiful, beautiful guys. Dude, that citadel was so important, but we're dead anyway, because now fire and chicken kicked in. And I don't, don't think I'm gonna get the damage come off. We lost lock on on the Iowa. That's also annoying. A decent chance of getting the Iowa kill though. Turn in, come on. Don't turn out. Or slow down. I saw him accelerating away, so those tops probably gonna miss. Unless he breaks again, which I doubt. Yeah, very unfortunate. Again, we could have lived through here, we could have even gone dark, but the Duncan was just, a, was just, I don't know why, we have a Republic here and there's nothing to really shoot here anymore, we have an Amagi. But Duncan could just walk through here and we had to kill him. And he costed us so much HP and we had no chance of going dark. Like I knew the Iowa was behind the island, the GK, we could have ran away way faster if it wouldn't have been for the Duncan player. Still a good match though. We still defended very well considering I felt like we played against everybody besides Yama and Rune. Like, out of the last five guys, we played against Flea, pretty much. But, I think it's enough. That was a very solid defense, 170k, not too bad. We got a kill, we got a defended ribbon. Yeah, you can, but not too, I'm not gonna do, to do it too long today. Just gonna wait, I wanna see who wins this now.
Our team has such a big HP and chip advantage, so I hope they don't throw it. I mean, Rune is gonna go down, that's good. Iowa is also pretty low, I don't know how many heals he has left. But he was pretty damn low the last time I saw him, so probably maybe half HP max. Rune is gone. He might lose a Magi against GK, but... Oh, Submarine is in front of a Magi. Then we're gonna lose the Magi. Okay. Yamato is gonna go down to Balao, unless Balao is really pegging it now. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that this game is won. EF is gonna YOLO GK. I mean, I wouldn't do it necessarily, but he's gonna get it off, so the GK is gonna die. Unless he really pepegas those torps now, which I doubt. Yeah, that's enough. Or actually, actually he did pepega the second set. He had so much time for the second set. Why did I mention anything? And Haaland is spotted. Why is Haaland spotted? Guys, this can't be for real now. Don't make it. There's no need to play like this now. Hello there. Okay, Haaland's gonna get him at least, but... Man, that Haaland player is super lucky. He did not get a sing. Okay, one. He got hit by the secondary once. Oh my god. That was way too close. Oh yes, 26k, so he doesn't really have anything to heal. Great. Crazy Shoe, thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the Oof Army. Shipmate Peeper, 33 months, thank you. Thank you so much, welcome back. Let's go, yeah, let's go. <sighs> Mumbati, welcome. Okay, I were... Is Killed the submarine. GG. Well done. Oh my god, guys. That was way too close. Wait, El Snackman, the man, uh, the, the super ship, the super Monty gets 51% torpedo protection. Oh, that's pretty nuts as well. That is actually pretty nuts. Super container, nice. Sweet, love your videos. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No spotter, so no better island view. Wait, are we forced to take fighters? Oh my I, I, I... No fighter either. Oh wait, what? No planes at all. Super ship, by the way. Then again, I remember always like I was playing Drake and all the ships and I was like, why does Goliath doesn't get a spot up lane? I was always sad about it, but then realizing how strong Goliath was. Still, how do I keep planes? Keep spotter. No need for fighters. No, I mean fighters are useless anyway, honestly, changed my mind. As long as you can take a spot up lane, you should usually take a spot up lane. Fighters are just... Uh, I don't know. They're just there to look good, but let's be honest, like every like especially Russian CVs can just outstrike it. You strike, 